Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a GTA style slideshow animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So here I have some images. Um, this is a PNG image um, that I got from internet and uh, then we have this uh, background image as well so if you have an image uh, you can for example this image uh, what you have to do is just remove the subject from the image uh, put it in a new layer uh, make sure you extract it from this image and then you have to also uh, have a background with the you have to fill that empty area back in I think it's called content of your fill in Photoshop and in Affinity Photo it's called in painting. Um, so uh, once you do that then you will have your background on a separate layer and your foreground on a separate layer. Right so let's get started or we will drag in our background to video track number one and our foreground will be on video track number two. So you can see that it's gonna look something like this. And then we will uh, go to effects over here and search for our first effect, which is um, DVE. You can find it under effects, DVE, and apply it on to the video track number one, which is our background. And then let's go to the inspector over here. Make sure you click on this uh, clip. Then in the effects, you will see DVE. Uh, we will use preset number five, and we will go to border and remove the border. So we'll set the border blend to zero. And then uh, I'm going to reset X, just double click on it to reset it. And we will change the Y axis a little bit. So let's start it near negative 15 ish. And uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and start creating our keyframe over here. So let's create a keyframe on Y. And let's go to the end and change the uh, position or not the position, the Y axis value. So I'm going to set this to negative 10. So have a really uh, simple, subtle animation. We don't want that to be too fast. Um, we just want this to be slow movement, something like this. Now on the GTA loading screen effect, they have this cartoonish looking effect. Uh, now the closest thing that I got with uh, DaVinci Resolve is this effect called abstraction under open effects. So we can drag, drag and drop it to the uh, background image and uh, you can uncheck draw edge. We don't want the edges. And yeah, you can see that it's looking something like that. You can definitely play with these uh, settings over here, such as quantization. You can check it and uh, change the strength maybe to get more texture into the image. Uh, but I think that looks pretty fine. Um, now you can do the same thing with the foreground image as well. Let's drag in the abstraction effect on this and we can make sure you click on this uh, clip and then i'm going to enable quantization let's reduce the pre-blur i'm going to zoom into this and uh, you know you can see how it looks so this is before and this is after and you can reduce the abstraction strength so that we get the texture into our image and then we can reduce the softness a little bit and you can definitely play with these steps over here so i'm going to set this to around five and i'm going to uncheck draw edge i don't want the edge there and i think that looks pretty cool so you can definitely play around with these settings over here um, you can just change it to your liking but i think that looks pretty okay uh, now for the animation we will just create a simple animation go to video over here video tab and we'll create an animation on position xy so i'm going to create a keyframe let's go to the end frame over here and just change the position x so we can move it to the right again the uh, the animation will be really slow and subtle so we'll just uh, play this and you can see how it looks right that is looking great now we can repeat this process for our other image and what we can do is we can copy all the effects from the previous clip and paste it onto the uh, second clip over here. Right click on it, click on paste attributes and make sure you click on video attributes over here and click on apply. Since we are only going to apply fusion effects over here, um, you can uncheck all of others 
but since we haven't changed any of these uh, in the previous clip so i don't think it's gonna matter that much so let's click on apply so you can see on the new clip over here you have the same effects over here um, abstraction and dve uh, but what we are going to do over here is uh, we will change the y rotation so on the second slide we will change the angle set this to maybe 11 and we can change the position over here maybe we can play with the z position as well we can even change the perspective if you want to do that then you can go to your foreground layer which is uh, this layer over here I'm going to copy the effect from the previous layer, right click, click on copy and on the new clip or the clip number 2 over here, right click, click on paste attributes and you can select all of these and click on apply. So again, the same effect will be applied on this image as well. If you don't like it, you can uh, at any time go to effects and change the attraction settings over here. But yeah, now if you play the animation, this is how it is going to look. I think the animation is a bit bit too fast over here. I think um, there is another keyframe over here or something in the background. So let's go to the effects over here, and I'm going to go to fusion, and I'm gonna right, I'm gonna click on this arrow, so you can see that it's 11 over here, and then it's gonna jump to negative nine. I think that's a pretty huge uh, change. So let's just um, make sure that the change is not that intense. Right, so now if you play this, we'll see that we have this nice and slow animation. Um, so great, now what we have to do is apply some video transitions. So we can apply a push transition. So you can find it under motion push. So let's apply it on this uh, track over here. Apply it over here as well. Apply it over here and over here. So now if you play the animation, this is how it's going to look our first slide and then our second slide so you can continue with this you can add as many images as you want and create your slideshow animation uh, you can even click on the transition over here if you want to increase the or decrease the motion blur you can do it right over here you can change the transition curve you can control the duration as well so yeah that's pretty much achievable in the inspector panel over here but that's pretty much it i hope this video is helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one